Oilers summer headlines. Top of the list, build an arena. Rexall Place opened in 1974. It is the second oldest rink in the league. Time has simply passed it by. Since buying the team in 2008, Daryl Cates has made no secret of his desire to see a new downtown arena. In late July, Cates launches a full court press. He appears in front of Edmonton City Council. Now, some may say the Oilers are just a hockey team, but I think we all know they're much more than that. They are an essential part of our history, our identity, our community, and our economy. And we are all very fortunate to have them. But the team is also a business. And like any business, it needs a sound financial base in order to be sustainable, which today it is not. Currently, Daryl Cates has had to subsidize the team by several million dollars in each of the past two years in order for the team to break even. Cates proposes a private-public partnership in a $1 billion downtown revitalization project, an entertainment district full of restaurants, bars, and retail shops centered around a new $450 million arena. I believe we have a once-in-a-generation opportunity through the Oilers and through the need for a new arena to do something transformative for downtown and for our city. Few question the need for an upgrade facility for the Oilers, but Cates has opponents. Under your proposal, uh, where you would be getting all hockey and non-hockey revenues, why can't you build this proposed facility privately? We've never had that discussion on whether an arena is needed or not needed. In my mind, you're telling me that if you don't get what you want, the team's not staying. I will never say such a thing. But you will imply that unless... I will not imply it either. Debate is fine, but Cates is firm about his endgame. The Oilers will not play in Rexall Place after their lease runs out in 2014. To be ready in time, construction of a new arena must begin within the year. The clock is ticking. With summer winding down, the road to oil change still has a couple of serious potholes. The first is the team's starting goalie, Nikolai Habibulin. Last February, while rehabbing a back injury that ended his year after 18 games. Happy Bullen was charged with extreme DUI near his off-season home in Phoenix. Convicted in August, he has appealed. Did Nick make a mistake? Yes, he made a mistake. But now, I'm more concerned about how Nick deals with that. You know, I talk 